Felton. Can you do that pinpoint, but can you really recall when you felt your offensive line, especially, but the offense as a whole was playing its best football and what it takes to kind of get back to that on a consistent basis? Uh, you know, the biggest thing is playing together. You got five guys up front, uh, one guy doesn't do a job, you know, that's, uh, that's not giving a play a chance. So we just got to play together, play consistent, it's the biggest thing, and then it starts with practice. How does going against Sheldon every day in practice help you out, help Quentin out? Help Steve out, improve as offensive lineman. Uh, helps out a ton. He's the best three tech we'll see all year, no doubt about that. Um, that's one thing that's nice. You know, sometimes Quentin gets frustrated, especially a young guy going against him, and the guy stops. Say, hey, you, you can block him. You're not going to go against anyone better. You kind of see it on his face. He realizes, you know, that's the reality of it. And, um, helps tremendously. What does he do that makes him so effective as a, a three technique? Very explosive. Uh, plays with great leverage, strong, and a smart football player. You know, he's able to um, kind of tell what's going on and use it to his advantage. Did you get an explanation for the pass interference penalty that was called against you Saturday? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear from, I think it was Mike Golick made a, a joke on Twitter like, congrats on having that on your resume. Yeah, you know, that's, a, that's a first. Um, not really sure. I'll tell you. <laughs> What a, just, just lastly, what about Pitt has allowed them to play so well against you guys in 2011, 2012, 2013, in these games that they've come in as pretty heavy underdogs and still wound up making them close games? They play hard. You know, a lot of guys who played a little into the whistle. Um, sometimes you can break, and in the past, you know, there's one of the teams that have played four quarters. Nick, I know, I know you don't get a chance to see it much, but you know, a lot of times when you guys break something, uh, you know, a long run or a long, a, a short pass that becomes a long pass play, uh, you're getting blocking downfield from your receivers. What have you seen when you do get some glimpses when the, when the actions move past you uh, of your receivers blocking in the open field? You know, I don't see it live. I've definitely noticed in film. Um, very selfless action. A lot of people think that being a receiver is, you know, all fame, catch the ball, touchdowns. Uh, it's not. Uh, majority of the time they're blocking, and I think they're bought in. Um, I think they get excited when they make good blocks, and they should. Uh, it's a big part of football. But I mean, a receiver as as good as Will Fuller and as um, you know good as he has been as a receiver, catching the football, making big plays, his willingness to get downfield and block. Uh, it's huge. Uh, it's selfless. I think that goes back to what kind of team we are. Um, you know, you look at any guy in the locker room and his eye, he cares more about you than he does himself, especially on the field, and that's, that's why it's a special team.